too heavy. What I want to do is get down this little bottle. Get down this little bottle. Because this is basically what you can demonstrate, like if you want to go around, that you can take the normal, ordinary motors, okay? We'll show you this. You were asking questions about this light. You can take normal, ordinary tape drive motors. This, uh, this meter on the output battery. Now let's turn it off. So you can sit there and not consume anything. Mm -hmm. And you can see this battery doesn't want to sit up there at that level. It's going down 30 oh yeah, more, it's going to go to standing. That's what all lead acid batteries do, is they go to standing and, and this one you could sort of take with you. I mean, you could always demonstrate it. Which is 12, standing's 12. Mm. Yeah, this is 12, 12 volt, and actually what I'll do is I'll hook it all up when you're ready to do what you're gonna do. We'll put the right cables on it and everything, so, and you'll buy your two batteries or whatever you're gonna do. Right. But here, now, so we'll start this again, then we'll, we don't want to hurt this meter, so we're going to take this off here. And you can see the radiant energy there. And we'll show you that the battery's still right there. 13 Yeah, that's, now watch. We're going to give the radiant energy to the battery. That started to go up when you hooked up. Well, when I take the output from this. You put it on the battery. Yeah, well, that's what you want to do. You want to charge the second battery. You want to be able to use this power. So basically, this battery runs this motor. Triggers it. Triggers it. Right. And the circuitry will pulse, trigger the radiant energy. And it goes there. It, and it, that goes in there. Well, yeah. So you look at so the net result. So let's turn it off and you watch it go down. And you can see there's no battery feed here at all. There's no generation. Oh wow. That's just the standing voltage of that battery now, which is not decaying. Is this decaying? No, this is keeping going, right? No, that's no, decaying. <laughs> Yeah. But there's no generation action. Right. It's not a generator. Mm. Oh, I see. So, so you're at stop. You stop this, yeah. I see what you're saying. This is a triggering, triggering mechanism. Yeah. Right. Right. Made out of a tape drive motor from a Sony camera. That's what that's made out of. Okay. So you can see that there's no generator action because it's coasting to a stop. Right. Right. That's kind of weird, isn't it, Tony? Because if I take and I short yeah. this out, it's going to yeah. stop. Yeah, yeah. So it's totally got all those fields canceled out. Is that a modified motor or a stock motor? No, it's stock. You didn't. You haven't built it. You just took the motor and just took the motor and put that. 
took off the shield and everything and said, okay, we'll put our circuit here and this is, it'll do it. Oh, interesting. So you can just take an off-the-shelf motor and do that. That is fascinating. That's what that shows. So now you can see nothing's going to change here when I hook it up. So nothing's leaking from that battery to this battery. See? It's not, not doing that at all. So it is the motor that makes the difference. Well, it's the triggering it's mechanism. Trigger mechanism. Now watch. Let's look at the rating again. That's indicated by these two neon lights. Mm -hmm. They're high voltage things. Now put your finger there. Grab one of these two. <laughs> okay, now watch. We'll put this on there, you can see that battery is there, right? Watch. Okay. Climb it up. But this is not one where when you take the load off, it blows up. No. No, because it's got the protection, you know, and it's low enough voltage. So that you get that to 24 volts and the wheel will come flying off then. So the protection is your little lamps? Yeah. Your lamp. okay. If you didn't have that, you'd have a present to go on. Right. Okay. Is it? Is it? Oh. <laughs> that is a off the shelf. It's what they throw out in the garbage. Yeah. You know, now we got a we got a battery, probably not a very good battery over here. Something that's even bigger than this battery, right? And you can see, we'll just hook it to this battery. See this battery? And all this trigger circuit we put out is radiant energy. Yeah. We don't put out anything else. No, it's not putting out anything else but the just radiant energy. You see it's bringing this battery down because it's charging it. Right. That's what we got in So the trick, quote unquote, is what your circuit does with the output of the coil? Yeah. Okay. Let's see if there's anything in there. Nothing in this battery. See, but it's trying to adjust to this load. Hear it? So if we take this, <laughs> see, there is. So you can see that this is a dead battery and it's gonna put the charge in there. Yeah. Now watch. Yeah, I mean, probably been sitting around for a couple of years. But he's going to put it in there. Yeah. Of course, this one's a good one. Pretty sure this is a good one. Yeah. Yeah. But it's just the idea, see? To get a good battery on there. And then you can just watch it go up. When you had that bigger light bulb plugged in and you, you took it away and it light went off and you put it down first, the light came on again. Is that yeah, this post here, see? Okay. Yeah, just hang in there. There's something in it, but these have been laying around dead. I think these were left over from the shop way down there. But to even get that much in it. Yeah, okay. You know. It's no, I thought the other end was off, that's why. If you've done something like that, that's something really. No, I mean, you're talking about a totally dead battery there. Right. That was a neon bulb. Last yeah. time. This is a good thing. Yeah, if you would like that light to have anything in this battery. 
Yeah. yeah. You know, and this will want to put it there. See? See some bubbling. Yeah. Yeah, cold boil. So take it back over here. This one's got 15 volts in it. And just see the radiant? Mm -hmm. Bring it up. It's gonna take it a while because it's gotta be unselling. Okay, we're looking at a brushless motor, and one of my visits to this shop here, John had made this brushless motor here, so I replicated this exactly. I don't have mine here, um, but we have a, a dual uh, SSG circuit here. SSG is what? Simplified schoolgirl uh, motor, and so what John did was, is he took a conventional motor, brushless motor, out of the tape motor, and um, took out the circuitry which is on top here and just used the coils and the magnet as a motor and, and uh, was able to charge batteries while he was powering the motor. So this motor is out of a out of a what? Tape motor. What what do you mean by a tape motor? Ta it's out of a, a, a tape editing machine. Okay. From NBC. It's a capstan motor. Okay. So this is a little bit more powerful one than these fans. So I, I took this home and I played around with it, or I made my own at home, uh, played around with it for about six months or so. And then I got the idea, well, I'll just try one of these, uh, you know, conventional fans, because it's the same kind of motor. So I started off with a really small one that you find on a computer, uh, maybe two and a half inches. And, um, and that was, uh, you know, interesting. Uh, I got some interesting results from that. So this was a little bit bigger one, about four and a half inches. It's just a Radio Shack, uh, almost four watt fan here. I just built this one the other day. Um, so again, I you know you take you take it apart, you take out the circuit which is in the back here, um, and then I just remove that, and I use the wires that were inside there. Just like this one. Um, what I was, you know, interested in doing is seeing the same thing happen with this um, with this model that John had made in this in this fan. So I did that, and um, I thought it was, you know, it was a pretty good um, motor to use to compare, um, you know, to find the mechanical efficiency uh, because the RPM is ma is rated uh, in the CFMs. So if I can get the RPM on this brushless motor uh, to what it was originally, then I can see how much work is really being done. Um, so um, we'll just look at this one for a moment here. Now I've got this, um, you know, it, it's overrated for these batteries, but you, you'll be able to see it. Uh, this battery is charging, this battery is is powering it. Which, which battery is powering it? This battery, well, this one is powering it, this one's being, this one's charging. So. So they correspond to the two batteries in yeah, the same order? Yeah, they correspond. Okay. So you've got about 100, or, yeah, about 90 CFMs coming out of this fan here. What was interesting with this particular setup is we were running this all day on a different set of batteries all the last couple of days and the primary battery just sat there and sat there it was, it was quite unusual for this setup um, but you never know what to expect on some of these systems um, if you want to look here this particular setup um, 